just miracles and I mean causing the main to be whole. That's still the one that just boggles my mind. People coming up and their legs cut off, and the Lord's touching them and their leg regrows. People coming up and their legs cut off, and the Lord's touching them and their leg regrows. People coming up and their legs cut off, and the Lord's touching them and their leg regrows. People coming up and their legs cut off, and the Lord's touching them and their leg regrows. But uh, just a real neat answer to prayer. Um, the video that I did about the attacks, current attacks on the ministry, um, there were two cases, open cases left. Of the guy, I, I, you know, showed his information, things just, 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 you know, showed his information, things just to, to show people how these infiltrators work and everything else. And uh, so, uh, people that try to infiltrate, we're going to be able to have access to their full name, address, the whole deal. We're going to be able to have access to their full name, address, the whole deal. We're going to be able to have access to their full name, address, the whole deal. Uh, unlike dealing with liberals that don't protect, I will leaving Christians like you know myself and you if you're a friend of the ministry. You know, Brian Dellinger's pride has gotten, that, was, that video was back in 2019, like September, October of 2019. Brian Dellinger's pride has gotten a whole lot worse since then. But just to point out some of his, his uh, hypocrisy is he loves to use Titus 310 as a way like, oh, you know, if, if someone if somebody makes more than two videos about him, he'll put him and his followers will pull out Titus 310. So their interpretation of that verse is that you should only be rebuking somebody who's false twice and that's pretty much it. So if that's their if that's what they think the verse is saying, which is not at all what it's saying. It's talking to, um, you know, going to a brother who is in heresy, going admonishing him twice, and then just not having any fellowship with them. But they see that verse as you should only rebuke false prophets twice. Well, okay, if that's the case, then they're they're in violation of their own standards because Brian Dillinger has made well over a hundred videos on Stephen Anderson. In fact, he has made more than two videos on pretty much most of the people he comes against. So if someone does it to Brian, they're in sin and violation of Titus 3.10, but Brian does it, it's okay apparently. You know, it's okay for Brian, because Brian is not, it's not just Steven Anderson. Brian has made more than two videos on Robert Breaker, Gene Kim, uh, I think John MacArthur and, and James White. Not not to say that that his videos are false. I mean, Steven Anderson is a wicked guy. I have, I have plenty of my own videos. I have well over a hundred of my own videos exposing Steven Anderson. And, you know, Robert Breaker, Gene Kim, they have their own issues, too. So it's not say that the videos themselves are the problem. It's the hypocrisy of don't make more than two videos on me, but I'm going to make more than two videos on the people I expose. It's complete hypocrisy, but, hey, they're respecters of person. So it's okay when Brian does it. They'll have all these excuses for Brian doing it. But if someone does it to Brian, oh, therefore, it's wrong. You know, it's okay for Brian to make over a hundred and over like two hundred videos on Steven Anderson, but if somebody makes, you know, like me makes about seventy or so videos on Brian, I'm the one that's in in sin apparently. It's a bunch of garbage, but that's how the cult operates. Respecters of persons. You know, they're covered in James two one and James two eight. So I wanted to point that out. Don't be deceived by this cult. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. When you get into making any kind of Christian videos, just putting your testimony out, just being just innocently trying to talk to people about whatever, all of a sudden you're going to see these little devil-possessed trolls just flock to your channel, and they're going to be making little videos about every little thing that you say, and they're going to hang on every word that you speak. And you slip up or say anything at all, and they will take your words, and they will twist and, and make you into some kind of heretic, and, you, and you're going to watch it. That's not at all what I was saying. Why? Damage control. All right, just wanted to prove that Brian Dunlinger is a cult leader. I used to follow Brian Dunlinger between November of 2019 to about September 27th of 2020 was the date that I was essentially kicked out of Brian's cult, stabbed in the back for daring to, to simply disagree. I wasn't even coming out and like attacking him. I did a video in which I voiced my disagreements with him and that was enough for his little Gestapo to come down, or, or no, sorry, not come down, but apparently visit heaven, pull out the book of life, get the holy eraser and blot my name out for committing the unpardonable sin of apparently disagreeing with Brian Dillinger and being vocal about it. So, you know, but this clip is something that has been at the back of my mind for quite a while. And essentially it's the fact that Brian Dillinger uh, thinks that people who essentially attack him and criticize him are possessed. Now, no doubt, some people are definitely obsessed with him to the point of probably devil possession. Like, you got guys like the Fenningerites who are indeed obsessed to the point of mental illness. But people who actually have legitimate criticisms of Brian's wickedness and sin, 
you know, guys like me, for example, he's referring to me in this kind of, in this video, you know, I'd be covered in this video. He wasn't referring to me directly by name, but he's referring to me and anybody else who has any criticisms of Brian Denlinger, you know, plain and simple. So he's lumping people who criticize him with like legitimate obsessed devils like Fenninger and these other guys. Okay, this is the point of Brian Dillinger where I'm trying to make my point that he is a cult leader. And he, he is, a lot of his followers are, they fall under the category of James 2.1 and James 2.9 where it talks about being a respecter of persons. A lot of his followers, and I was guilty of this too, I was seeing problems with Brian for quite a while before, you know, I came out and voiced my disagreements. And I didn't say anything about it because I was a respecter of persons. I was guilty of that sin. And many of his followers don't actually... You know, because I'm convinced that most of his followers can see the errors and wickedness of Brian, but they're not going to question him because, just like I did, you know, they have a respect for him because of how much they learn from him, how much truth he tells, and their respect as a person as a result. So, and anybody who does question him is, you're now lost, apparently. So, check this out. Thank you.